subscribe to my YouTube channel. I think the button is somewhere down there. Anyways, Mr. YouTube has told me that 86% of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so um, be sure to subscribe. I put up this gathering so I could review the Maze Runner. So grab your popcorn and get some soda and get under a blanket. Let us begin. The only thing that the main character can remember about himself is his name, Thomas. He is in a lift and when the lift opens, he is welcomed by the other people in the maze. He is at the glade. It is situated between a terrible, terrible maze, as I said. Every morning when the maze's doors open up, the runners run and risk their necks to find out the truth. Then when Thomas understands the logic of the glade and the maze and everything, he puts two and two together. He sees the main threat, the grievers. The grievers are like some kind of blob figures but with a lot of teeth. And I mean a lot of teeth. And that's not it. They have stingers. If you get sting by their stingers, you faint and then you have to go through a process called the changing. Otherwise, you would become mental and try to kill people eventually. So then one day a girl arrives in the same week as Thomas. Now that's a huge no-no for the boys because first of all, there is not one girl in their boy pack and suddenly a girl appears out of nowhere. And second of all, two people in the same week is not okay. Then one day the girl goes in an everlasting coma. That was fast. One day when Thomas was just sitting around, he saw the leader of the runners, an Asian kid named Minho. Minho reported to their leader that he saw a dead griever. The end of story. Goodbye. The end. Their leader, Albi, said that they need to check it out because it might be useful. They went and they didn't come back. At night, when the doors were closing, they saw Minho dragging Albi on the ground. They wouldn't make it in time. The doors of the maze were going to shut on their faces, and no one has survived overnight in the maze. Not one person. And that's when Thomas, the new person, runs into the maze. Woohoo! The doors closed behind them, and they were trapped for the night. Somehow, Albi got stung by the dead griever. Okay, I'll say it. A dead griever can play dead all right. Somehow they survive the night and put Albi through the changing. And that's when Thomas gets selected as new leader of the runners. And that's when Teresa, the girl who was in a coma, woke up. And that's when their supplies no longer were coming. And that's when the maze's doors stopped closing at the night. The people of the glade come up with a code and then they run. They reach a griever hole and when they enter, like they jump through the griever hole, they enter a computer room. There Thomas's best friend Chuck holds off the grievers. Teresa recites the code to Thomas and Thomas punches the code on a computer. A door opens and says, kill the maze. And now you guys might be wondering how they come up with the code now it's a really complicated process and I'm not I'm trying not to give away spoilers so you better buy the book and read it. They all go through the door. Thomas, Teresa, Chuck, Minho and Thomas's other friend Newt who was really really brave during the battle and the rest of the glade. When they enter there stands Thomas's enemy Gally. Gally has a knife and he throws it towards Thomas but Chuck jumps in front of him and blocks the knife, taking the sacrifice. That's when Thomas jumps on Gally and beats the living daylights out of him. Then he turns towards Chuck. Chuck. Dead. That's it for today's video. This book was written by James Dashner. I would rate it a 5 out of a 5 and this time I have a reason. When I bought this book like three or four years ago, I thought it was not that good. That's why it was in my shelf gathering dust. But then I picked it up randomly and started reading and it was a glory to my eyes. I started punching myself for not reading it first. It was amazing. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell and also drop a like on this video. 
The fact of the day is portions of Albert Einstein's brain is displayed in a museum in Philadelphia. Ew, gross. I mean, what's up with the world nowadays? It's not like someone's gonna try to steal the brain and swallow it. Well, um, I have a flight booked for Philadelphia. Bye. Well, that's all, folks. <laughs>